Okay, so today I decided I needed to make some changes about where my life was headed. So the following is uh, my whole day, basically, just thinking about what I'm doing and what I was actually doing today and what I think needs to happen in order for me to move on. All right, here it is. What's up, guys? Um, it is 9.53 in the morning. I probably got up about 53 minutes ago. And uh, I just had a couple things to share about my day. First of all, I got some money. <laughs> my sister sent this to me. It's the money I asked her for. So that means I can go to tap class today and not worry about putting money on my credit card. I was, I just feel like I need to make a change, and today is the day it starts. Today I'm going out looking for a bartending job, and I'm going to get one, even if I have to, like, I'm going to keep looking all this week, and even if I have to, uh, work at a bar that's an hour away, I just, I have to do it, you know, it's time for me to grow up, I need to get real, I need to start making money, I've been having these dreams lately where I just get really upset like for reasons that don't require getting upset and it's I get upset at people who you know I love like we get in like yelling matches part of me would just like love to get in a yelling fight with someone and just really let them know what I'm all about and not have to just stand by and agree or say whatever just to keep them happy because, you know, you have to. Because you're dependent on them, I think is what I'm getting at. It's, it has a lot, of, a lot to do with the people I love happen to be the people I am entirely dependent on, and if they weren't there, I don't even know what I would be doing right now. And I think I'm just rebelling against that at this point, because I know it's that I, I'm 21 years old, and I need to be on my own. And so, I think the way it manifests in my dreams is I have the courage to just yell at them and not give up crap what they think or feel, you know. And I'm sorry, but it's a very good feeling, and I wish I really had just had the guts to do it. Okay, well, I just got out of the shower, and I feel a lot better. It's amazing what a nice, warm shower will do for you. Um, and now I think I'm going to go eat some breakfast and go down to the Marriott, which supposedly is hiring bartenders. I don't know. It was on the website, so I'm gonna go. Alright, we'll be back later. Okay, so I just went to Marriott, um, and I have to fill out the application online, and I went online, and it only is listing applications for housekeeping and, like, guest services. It doesn't say anything about bartenders, so I called the number that was on the, uh, the job bank. I called Leslie. Oh, my lord. Oh, okay. It's Aunt Sharon was outside. And I didn't know if she was home, so I like heard someone talking. I was like, oh my god. What is that? But anyway, so I called Leslie. And she's going to be getting back to me, so. And, you know, I went there, and it's just like a little bar in the uh, lobby. And I don't know if that's what I want. So I may be, I'm, I think I might be looking around for another job. Okay, bye. I've decided that I don't want to go back to school. At least not immediately. I had um, been planning on auditioning for AMDA, and I've just had a, a lot of friends of mine tell me that it's not a great place. I don't know. I went, and I went to an open house they had, and I really liked everything that I saw and the people, and I thought it was really great, but you know what? I just... 
I don't think I'm ready to go back to school. I have one more semester of Rutgers, and I think I need to take a little break. And the rest of the summer, I have to start practicing my scales out of this book if I'm ever going to pass the stupid piano proficiency exam at Rutgers. Major scale, harmonic minor, melodic minor, and then dominant seventh arpeggios and I don't know, something like that. Okay, so I'm about to go take my tap class in New York City. I'm so excited. I'm feeling a little nervous and I don't know why, but everything will be fine. Um, and before that, I just have to go to the Gap and return a couple things and get my money back because I, I got like three pairs of sandals and I wore one pair the other day and they hurt your toes. So I'm going to return the other two and get some money back because Lord knows I need the money. Um, and I've also decided, wow, it's really light all of a sudden. The sun's coming out. I've also decided that I'm just going to start working out too. Um, obviously not today since I have tap, but tomorrow... I'm going to do my best to get up tomorrow, not even early, just when I get up. Go run or do something, you know? I need to get in shape, and I need to go outside more often, because I'm not getting enough vitamin D, and the sun gives you vitamin D. So everybody, if you don't go outside that often, go uh, get some vitamin D. Go lay out in the sun. Okay, I'll see you later tonight. Bye. Okay, so I start out everything. Okay, so let me not do that anymore. Uh, anyway, I got back from TAP maybe like 30 minutes ago, and let me say it was just so much fun. I had a good time. I started to get a little frustrated at the end, but other than that, it was it, it was awesome. But I think to finish out the video, I'm just going to tell you what I think I have in store for the future. And it starts with a little story. My friend Corbett got married probably about a year ago, and I didn't hear much from her while she was married, and I, that's what usually happens, you know, you get married and you spend all your time with your loved ones, but that's life, so that's fine, and then probably about two months ago, at the end of school, like last week of school, she called me, and we were just chatting up a little bit, and she goes, she was saying something, and on the end of it, she tagged, and I got divorced, and I was like, what? She said, yeah, I got divorced. And then, so we talked about that, and she's like, Chase, I want to tell you something. I want to move to New York City. We should move together. And I was like, well, Corbett, you know, I'm really thinking about going to school and living, that I'd be living on campus then. And she's like, okay, well, that's fine. But if you decide to, uh, if you decide not to, let me know, because she wanted to do it. She'd also, um... She also talked to my mom and talked to my cousin and was like, please tell Chase that I'm so serious about moving to New York. I really want to do it. In fact, later on, she told me that it has always been her dream, like since she was a kid, to move to New, <clears throat> move to New York City and be a hairstylist. And now that, you know, I was sort of leaning not towards going to school, two weeks ago, I called her up and was like, Corbett, do you really want to do this? And she's like, you know I do. And then I was like, okay, well, we're going to do it. And, like, it was great. So we've been, like, calling each other, like, every day, messaging. And I'm, like, looking at apartments. And it's going to be some ghetto apartment in, like, Queens or Brooklyn somewhere. But it's going to be fun. So that's just the last thing I had. And that wasn't necessarily a change I was making today, but... You know, it's, it's going to be an important change, and I figured it would work into the theme of the vlog today. So, thank you all for uh, listening to my vlog. I'm going to go now, go to bed, and I will talk to you later.